What's the best way to organize if I want a processing chain to change radically between verse, bridge, chorus on five or six tracks, like lead vocal, background vocals, guitars, and drums, having completely different EQ dynamics and special effects in different sections of the song, automating effects on same tracks seems complicated, and separate tracks for each section is cumbersome to work with. The way I look at it, either way you approach it, it's uh, not really a big issue. It's what you need to do to get the mix right. If you need to use separate tracks, then go for it. Apply the processing to those tracks and then go back to the original tracks uh, later on. You can also bounce down that section or use a sub project there in that section where it's a completely different sound. But I would probably do it with automation and it's not really that hard if you're using the global override for latch preview mode. So let me show you that here. So in Reaper, and I want to, let's say, change a bunch of EQ settings and things like that within um, this section of the song here. So I'm going to go over to the global override section in the transport bar. And by default, it's on no global override. And I want to set this to latch preview. So now anything in the mixer and any plugin parameter is now armed to record automation. Let's see which tracks are actually playing. We can play this anytime we want, like we can loop this repeatedly and change anything we can think of. Okay, well, here's a simple one. I'll take the EQ and I'll just turn this way down. So I'll just bring that up to there, okay? Okay, let's take the EQ on the drums and we'll also bring this way up. All right, that's just two examples. We'll take the, um, the, dr the whole drum volume. Let's just actually take all these drum tracks and I'll just bring them down, kind of grab it on the control surface, bring them down in this section. We could also add in other effects in here, um, all that kind of stuff. But just as a quick example, we've changed the volume, we've changed EQ settings on two things, and we want to commit this to this section. And you see anything that I've touched has a red tinted parameter and any automation lane that I touched has now popped up here. So, um, so frequency of low shelf there, all the volume. Now we're going to actually commit this, run this action, automation, write current values for actively writing envelopes to time selection. Actively writing means any of these that are red. Um, and so we just run this. And that's put in that automation change to its current value onto the track and outside of the selection, it's the default value or the where, where it was before we started touching it. Um, and then we're gonna go back to our global override and we'll wanna set this to either no global override or set it to read. And now these tracks are reading automation. And so there's a slight transition time here and that's in the preferences for um, automation. So um, there's automation recording record uh, return speed. So that's the time it takes um, when you're actually writing it with, you know, dragging a, a fader or something like that. Um, action transition time is this other one, which will apply to um, any of the actions that we run. So there you go. Yeah, so let's play that now. It's really that simple. It's just a couple steps. I have a video on how I do this. I've shown it actually in um, my mixing courses as well. I have one key that I use a lot. Uh, it's just, I press P and then go to the, let's go back to this EQ. And let's just make that nice and bassy. Maybe take out all the highs. 
Okay. And then I just press P again. Oops. With uh, the main window focus, I press P again. Anything I touched is now written to that section. And so that's all of these automation lanes popped up, written into the section. And it has that action transition time that I showed you earlier. So drastically changing the mix using latch preview mode is incredibly easy. Uh, it's basically one button uh, to do that if you're using my custom action.